locating. He's sort of sauntering down the hall or something. I don't know. Um, we'll talk to you just a little bit about kind of how we'd like this afternoon to work. And we hope that this becomes a very benefit. Come on up here. <laughs> We hope it's a very beneficial part of what we're doing because we find out that a lot of times when we uh, conduct seminars and workshops that one of the things that probably happens more often than not is people say they get more out of talking to us in between sessions and after sessions. So we hope this becomes the talking to us between and after sessions by making this a very collaborative kind of thing where we can talk about the specific concerns that you have. As you're doing that, let me encourage you to try to be as succinct as possible because just like you have issues and battles that you're fighting or particular questions that you have, so do all of your friends and compatriots in the room. So we want to share the wealth as much as possible. All four of us will not address every issue. We'll just kind of sit and listen to each other and and see which one of us uh, uh, jumps on it first. And I, I will tell you, a few years ago I did a seminar up in Tennessee and uh, um, some of the class participants made me a, uh, a shirt that said, help, I'm talking and I can't shut up. <laughs> so uh, I'll, I'll do my best to kind of shut up and, and listen to these experts up here as much as possible. But we'll try to make sure that we vet these things out as much as we can for you in a session like this. <laughs> Obi Brown uh, is an investigative reporter here at the Telegraph. He's a guy that has a wealth of knowledge and experience covering local government. And if anybody sort of feels your pain, uh, he does because he's, he's one of the guys that's been on the front lines doing this stuff all the time. And uh, of course you know Holly and the, and the information that she brings to the table. Dr. Miller, I think, brings a real unique perspective to this because she is an advisor at Valdosta State University and not only deals with these things advocating for openness in uh, the government of the, of the school but she works with students and uh, I've never said this to her but I will tell you that uh, when I talk to journalism students and, and folks that I've hired at VSU they always tell me that for their four years there they get more out of your classes and listening to things that you've said to them than anybody else. So, <laughs> uh, in addition to that, she uh, double dips by uh, extorting students to say nice things about her. But, but she, you know, we're really glad to be able to bring her to the table and be able to offer some different perspective, not only from a student's point of view, but as an academic who understands these things in a very philosophical kind of way that I think adds a lot to the dialogue that we're talking about here. So hopefully between the four of us we can give you real world experience, legal knowledge, a very academic approach to this, and help you as much as possible. I guarantee you you will not walk away from here and have all of the magic words and, and all of the answers to all of the problems. But hopefully we will all walk away from here helping to build a culture in all of our communities for greater peace. With that, uh, I'm going to open this up to the floor, and you can do this by asking a question, by sharing an experience, and, and see if we have anything relative to that. And it looks like, uh, um, with a, some degree of shyness, <laughs> we've got our first one. So, uh, as y'all uh, do this, if you will, tell us sort of what your role is. You're 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 a community watchdog. You're a journalist. You're you know, a mom, a dad, you know, and, and what your interest is. Don't go on too much, obviously, and, and then let's talk about what your issues are. Go ahead. My name's Gretchen Quarterman. I'm from Lowndes County in the Valdosta area. Um, I started watching government um, when there was a rezoning case in my neighborhood, and I realized that nobody was watching government. Nobody was regularly coming and observing the whole meeting. They were but, coming before I moved to Valdosta. By before the way. you did, yes, <laughs> long before. Um, and no one would come to the meeting and stay for the whole meeting. There were no citizens that came from the beginning to the end to watch the whole meeting. So I started doing that. Then I started videoing them with a little pocket camera. 
um, from my seat and then they made a rule that said I had to stand in the back corner so now I have to stand in the back corner with my camera and stand for the whole meeting so that I don't disrupt. Um, I have a two-part question. If I understood correctly you said that if the county government has a record available on the day that I ask for it and it's there, maybe I even could lean over the desk and see it, uh, they have to give it to me on that day or they can delay three days and give it to me three days later. Yeah, is the correct interpretation if it's available. It is not permissible for the public agency to wait out for three days. And that is put in the law effective April 17, 2012 with this idea of rolling production. Okay, well, um, in our county, we, have a, we are trying to get them to publish the packet of materials that they give to the commissioners ahead of the meeting. We know that that's available to them on a Friday for a meeting that happens on Monday and Tuesday. We asked for that on Friday, knowing it was available on Friday, and we got it on Wednesday. So we asked for it on Thursday, and we got it on Tuesday. We asked for it on Wednesday, and we got it on Monday. And when this time we asked, when do we have to get it? Ask for it to get it on Friday, and then said, you must ask for it on Tuesday when to get it on Friday. However, on Tuesday, it's not necessarily ready and available. So then we're asking a record which they could immediately answer us there is no such record, we don't have such a thing. Exactly. So I can ask for it on Friday, and they should give it to me. Awesome. Now, why is now as good a time? Oh, I guess I, I'm so used to House Bill 397. If you go on to the next question. Okay, my next question is, oh, oh, oh. if they have a, I have a two-part question. If they have a, if the record is available electronically, minutes for the planning commission, so we have 22 boards and authorities in our county which have appointees, which are government meetings, one of which is our planning commission, and I go and video that meeting. Um, I have been having trouble getting the agenda for that meeting and the minutes for that meeting. The minutes are only ever given to me on paper, even though I know that they're not typed on a typewriter. I've been to citizens wishing to be heard with the paper in my hand saying, my open records request asked for an electronic copy of the minutes and I got paper back. I know these are not typed on typewriter. Please could I have electronic copy? And the answer I get is leadership told us to give it to you that way. Is that a question for me? Too? I know that's a, that's, do they, um, if it's electronic, do they have to give it to me that way? If I yeah, ask for it? They, yes. The old law and the new law says a like, record shall be made available uh, electronically were practicable, but from what you just described, they're not made prepared electronically. They, they are typed on a computer. I mean, you can tell they're not typed on a typewriter, oh, but I they see. give them to me only on paper. I can't get them. They're a word document. I, the law really encourages them, but I, that's a loser. They'll, in terms of, you're not going to win that one. So they don't have to give it to me, even though they type, even though it's available in a word document. Um, Thank you. Here, here's one of the things that you're going to find out is that if, for instance, any of these things were ever adjudicated, what the courts are going to look at is what was the damage here. Did you get the record? Was the record made available to you? Now, from a theoretic point of view, I understand exactly what you're saying. But, but what the courts would say, what the AG's office would, what the AG's office would say is, did you get the record? So, you have to wonder: is that the right battle to fight in this case? What you want is the record. What you want are the methods in this case. And I would tell my students to do is to calculate what it costs to make this electronics paper, and I would start reporting on the wasted money. Well, but I but it's my money, money because I had to pay ten cents a page. No, to that's not the point. Okay, because are they giving anyone else the, that paper copy? As soon as they made that copy, it still costs that government time and money to produce it, even if you're paying for it. And if they're giving anybody else those papers, because what they're doing, obviously, is trying to keep you from having electronic copies to make them searchable. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that, that's what you start, that's what you start back with as the answer to that question. And you start asking, what I tell my reporter, I ask them, why are you doing this? And if they say, leadership said, which leadership? And you follow it out. And if you ask the question directly, as a closed-ended question, are you doing this to prevent people from being able to search your documents? 
That's our question. Thank you. Um, the code section you all are looking for is 50-18-71 little b. Dropping up by saying you should email it to me. I, I, the argument's not going to work, even though I happen to agree with you. Yeah, I and I would still, try it. Yeah, and I would still ask, too. I just, it may be just a matter of a conversation, yeah. kind of like Jim was saying earlier, just a conversation with somebody else to say, you come on. I mean, really, what are y'all doing here? What's going on here? It may just be. Well, I mean, we, we usually get it when we ask for it. Like yeah. that, because it's easier for everybody. Right. Right. It's easier for everybody. Right. Okay. Thank you. Yes, <clears throat> I have a question, and I'm reading from the 